Well guys, we're back out here at Bushirons Tampa once again for another video that's gonna come on by here. But uh, I don't know how loud you can hear me right now, but they actually have these weird uh, yellow fences just to start off the video right here, which is actually kind of weird. But uh, once again, today's visit here for Bushirons Tampa. And uh, it should be interesting. We'll give you all the updates for Phoenix Rising and all the construction for everything that's going on here. So without further ado, enjoy today's visit here for uh, Bushirons Tampa. All right, so we made it inside the park with no problem at all. And uh, we are actually here so uh, i don't know how long this uh video is gonna be since the last time i played like some of my videos were uh, kind of short there so uh sorry for that but uh as you can see uh, we got here about a different kind of timing we're gonna you can see the bubbles right here but we're gonna go over and uh we're gonna go see what we're gonna do and uh we'll just see by time here and uh we'll keep you updated around here on this video here for bush Gardens, tampa for any updates of course but uh let's go around here for uh bush Gardens, tampa so I heard Aunt Gwazi was actually a 90 minute wait, but by the Terminator, there is no way that is actually 90 minutes. But uh, we're about to go into the ride and uh, hopefully by the looks of it, it will actually not be too bad at all for the for this attraction. So uh, let's go to Aunt Gwazi. All right, so we're gonna go on Aunt Gwazi and uh, hopefully it's only, four it's actually not even that bad. So let's just go on the ride. Here we go. actually running pretty great right now and uh, actually the Gwazi beats I actually think it's going up I'm not sure but here it is. That was a good ride so uh, on to the next thing. Alright so I don't know if you could tell but yeah that was uh, Gwazi Rocks I was currently on. I don't know if I could really film it because I'm uh, you know about some of the music that was loud to be copyrighted but not really into that but um, now we're going to go over and uh, show you some new areas for the area. You can see uh, Festival Walkway, which is actually right over here. So uh, we're going to go over to uh, one of the areas over here and uh, we'll keep you updated and uh, probably going to go to the new uh, Kangaloom area. So uh, it should be interesting. All right, so we're going to show you the new area here for uh, Kangaloom, which I haven't really showed this, but we're going to give you a little bit of a walkthrough of uh, what's over even over here. So I uh, haven't been here in uh, quite some time, so it is interesting to see what's in here. So uh, let's go check it out right now. All right, so as we can see, we're actually in the area. And it's actually pretty interesting. There's like basically just like kangaroos are all around here, as you can see, which is actually uh, pretty interesting. But uh, I see some of uh, the kangaroos that are actually over here in this exhibit. And it's actually uh, very cool how they actually have this all set up over here. You can see all the information about the kangaroos, which is all around here, as you can see. And uh, yeah, they actually did update this area a lot since the last time I was over here. So uh, it's actually uh, pretty interesting how this actually is. And then you can see some of the over here this is a lake and you can see some of the some of the ducks that are actually in there as well so uh yeah it's actually uh, pretty interesting how this actually is all around here and uh yeah so yeah that's uh, pretty interesting but you can see this is a cool little area that's actually over here at bush Gardens, tampa so uh pretty interesting and uh yeah yeah you can see this uh, very cool how that actually is around here they're just uh, just laying around here as you can see so uh yeah, it's actually uh, pretty interesting. Sorry if this is weird content for you guys, but uh, yeah, this is uh, this is actually a uh, there's actually uh, there's actually a baby Joe that's actually right inside there. So uh, yeah, it's actually interesting. So yeah, as you can see, yeah, this is a uh, yeah, it's not a little bit of an exhibit. Uh, it's nothing really like too special. It's a exhibit for uh, kangaroos and stuff, as you can see. So uh, yeah, it's actually uh, pretty interesting. They actually added some shade over here. So about the music, if it's loud, I can't really do anything about that because you know it's super nice. So. Uh, yeah, so you can see, oh, I get this one. This man, look, this thing looks weird over here. Then there's, uh, oh, what? So, yeah, as you see, this is where you would uh, exit out over here. And, uh, yeah, it's actually uh, very cool. And, uh, and I really haven't really did a lot of animals here on the channel before, but, you know, why not just uh, change some things up a little bit. But, uh, yeah, this is where you exit out right over here. And, um, 
So yeah. Huh, I wonder what this area is over here. So I guess this is a part of the area that's actually over here as you can see. And it's actually a little bit of an exhibit that's actually over here. I actually didn't really notice this about Bush Gardens Tampa, so we're actually learning new stuff today. So well, I knew this was here, but I never really uh, paid attention to it. But just a little bit of an area over here. All right, so we're gonna go over and try to go over to uh, Shikra. Hopefully, the wait time was not that bad. Aren't Guazi was a 45 minute wait, so that was, that was actually not even that bad at all for that attraction. Because last time it was 75 minutes, but uh, we're gonna go over to uh, Shikra, so it uh, should be interesting. All right, next on the rise is Shikra. Let's do it. say that but it was actually really good got the back row and uh, it was actually pretty good so uh, on to the next area we might do the log loop for the very first time so uh well not the first time but uh stay tuned oh, wow. ah my shorts got wet all right I just did a uh, tiger not too long ago, got the back row, man. That was actually uh, pretty intense, which was actually uh, very good. And uh, very good. I actually have an arm pin here, I forgot to mention that before, which is actually pretty interesting, but uh, on to the next. So right over here for uh, this pathway, which is actually over here, there's actually some uh, construction walls that are actually over here for some reason, but uh, could we just be remodeling the concrete a little bit there? So you actually have to go this way, which is actually right over here just to get there. So interesting enough, this is actually uh, the water's all out for the lock room, which is actually uh, pretty interesting. But yeah, you have to go through this little uh, shortcut just to get back up here, which is actually pretty interesting what they're doing over there. So uh, interesting, but yeah, there's, uh, the lock room is actually currently closed as of this moment. So uh, that's why there's actually some uh, things that are over there. The water's all down, so uh, pretty interesting. So one thing I want to just uh, say here is that there's been a lot of rumors for the Jungal area for the uh, for the for as you know from the 2025 roller coasters and it could be a giga but who knows it could happen you can see there's free beer that they just added for the new thing that's over there but pretty interesting who knows what the rumors will go but to see the area is actually closed off right now so we can't go any further detail but there's more youtube videos to that so uh, anyways chick-fil-a actually has no lines so that's actually uh, pretty interesting all right guys well you see uh, phoenix rising is uh, currently on the passport to thrills as of this uh, current moment which is actually uh, pretty interesting but unfortunately uh, i can't do the event because off for obvious reason but it's actually very cool to be in this actual area for the very first time here so uh you can see the park presence over there which is actually uh, very cool we can see uh, phoenix rising in this uh, cool shot in just a few minutes so uh, it should be interesting okay so then really Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, as I can see, uh, Phoenix Rising was actually uh, testing for the very first time here. Unfortunately, I can't ride it today for something, but it was actually very cool to actually see it go for the very first time here. I actually never got to see it while I tested, but seeing it there was actually pretty cool. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna go over here and it uh, should be interesting. So yeah, I can't do it right now because of uh, it's only for Passport to Thrills. So uh, it has to be more of a later time to do that attraction. So uh, anyways, uh, on to uh, the next area. We will, when Phoenix Rising does open, we will get all the stuff that we, uh, POVs and all the stuff. So uh, we got you covered for that. So um, on to the next area and it uh, should be interesting. So, yeah, it looks like that uh, Falcon's Fury was actually closed too. So that's actually uh, pretty interesting. But uh, we are gonna try to go over to uh, Serengeti Flyer and hopefully that will actually go pretty well. And it uh, should be interesting. I am hoping to get some more rides in Gwazi as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. And it uh, should be interesting. All right, Serengeti Flyer is only a 15 minute wait, so uh, let's go on the ride. And uh, it's only 15 minutes, so let's go on the ride. I 
So a little bit of an update, they actually added this over here for uh, Summer Nights. I forgot to mention that in the last video, which is actually pretty interesting. But uh, this is a drop for today, but it's actually kind of getting dark here. It's a little bit of a time warp from earlier, but now it's kind of getting dark here. So it should be interesting, but for me, this surprised me to say this late here. But we're going to go over, hopefully, to Montu next, and it uh, should be interesting. All right, so, uh, so as you can tell, yeah, it's almost uh, time for uh, park close and uh, interesting, but we're going to head over to uh, Montu for a bit for uh, one of the coasters that we're going to be doing today. So uh, it should be interesting and uh, hopefully you see it's a 27, about three more minutes before the park closes. So uh, yeah, so we're going to go over there and uh, hopefully we can get a ride to Montu. So it uh, should be interesting. So yeah, it actually very is cool to see uh, Cobra's Curse lit up over here. I haven't seen that in a long time. It's only a 25 minute wait right now. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, might get a little bit more later on. We're going to do the mod two for first, so uh, let's go over there. We just did uh, Montu not too long ago, and it was actually running really good. And uh, I got near the back row, which was actually really good. So uh, let's see here. Let's see. Maybe do Cobra's Curse. We'll see in a minute. Well, guys, well, I guess uh, that would be an end here for uh, Bush Gardens Tampa for today's visit here. As you can see, uh, one last look. And uh, as you see, fully nighttime. The park is about to close very soon. So I'll be doing here four posters of the thrills here. Um, it, was a, it was a good visit that went by here, and uh, hopefully it was good. So, uh, as you see, we're going to get out of here. And, uh, yeah, so that was going to be it for uh, today's visit here for uh, Posters and the Thrills. If you like what we do here, make sure to subscribe. And uh, if you want to keep seeing more of these videos, make sure to subscribe. And it uh, should be interesting. So, uh, that will be it for here for Bush Gardens Tampa. It was a great day that went by here. So, uh, until the next video, this is Coasters of the Thrills. We'll catch you later on, hopefully at uh, somewhere very soon. So, uh, so yeah, it was a good visit. And uh, always, always we'll be back, back here, of course. So I'll be here for Bush Camp until the next video. This is Coasters of the Thrills. I'm out.